Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeepers with cool guys. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, and now we're getting serious. I should show you the rest of this body and turn apart. We're gonna take off the dashboard. And what that means is we need to take off all these little screws here. We'll take off the glove box door. That's real simple, nice two easy bolts uh, or screws. And then ultimately to get the whole dash off, we're going to have to take out the steering column. So that'll be in the next episode. But I just want to show you the dash, uh, taking that off, maybe taking the cowl off, taking off the door. So mine's held in by a nut and a bolt, 3 8 but that's my thing. I don't think yours will be the same, so let's go with that. There's one. Nice and easy, right? Yeah. Contortionist again, this one. All right, there we go. Two bolts, two nuts. Ooh, that could have been ugly. So there you go. Got your box door. Ugh, ow. Alright, glove box. This is not the original. The original is actually cardboard. So I wanted to put in something that I was actually going to last a little bit longer and actually a mouse had already eaten all the way through mine. So I wasn't going to order a new uh, cardboard box. These are taken out by one, two, three, four, five, six little screws, Phillips heads, mounted into a little bracket. Alright, there's the last of the screws. Tag and bag. Can't get this out until you actually take the dash off, but I just want to get it loose for now. There's also two screws that go into the, the latch, the loop for the glove box. If you have a push button, a non-lockable one, this is, I believe, a ledge that the thing latches over. But if you have a lockable kind, like the one that I just showed you, then you're going to have this little piece of metal that the thing latches onto. That's pretty much it. Nice and simple. These things right here, the little bumpers, these are hard to find. I don't think anybody actually makes them, so you have to find another make or a model. Like I said, the F-150 apparently, or is it F-250 diesel? I believe that's what a lot of the forums say. So check into that if you need them. Now that I've got all the screws out, make sure you've got this thing held up somehow because otherwise it will slip off and pull all the wires out of the back of your dash. Not a good idea. As promised, we're going to take the dash panel off. I'm going to take out my last remaining holding bolts. Let's see what's hiding behind this wonderful piece. Family of raccoons. Well, there you go. Nice and easy. Let's see, I should probably find something to prop this up with. Use a rubber mallet. Okay, there you go. And uh, hit the 8 track, may have seen its last days. As you can see, there's a whole rat's nest worth of stuff back here. Uh, but this is definitely something you're going to want to make sure that you uh, label everything as you start pulling stuff off because, wow, I don't know how you'd figure it out otherwise. Everything looks like it's in good shape though. I don't see any uh, chewed through wires or anything like that, like any rodents got in here. We'll see a lot of splicing and some things that aren't connected anymore, but... Now, I'm going to slowly go through this entire wiring setup and try and figure out what was originally connected. So, for example, my previous owner put in a uh, hydraulic um, oil gauge, and I want to go back to the original electric. And talking about tagging and bagging, but this is pretty much what this is all going to be about. So, uh, this will be interesting. I won't show you all of this stuff, just because everybody's scenario is going to be different if there's been any modification to it. So, um, hopefully yours is as original as it possibly could be. Mine's not. This is your computer. I'm guessing that this one's probably not running anymore. Just gonna take a wild guess. Something about all that sound in there probably isn't all that good. And it fits right within 
this area up in here is a little bracket and it's held in by one single sheet metal screw just right up through there and it's held into a metal bracket so that's the brains of all of it at least the emissions control this is one of the things that I don't think I'm going to replace <laughs>